My name is Shirley Carlos. I'm the Project Manager at COTA Victoria for the Rich Train Employee Project. I respectfully acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that I'm living and working on, the Boon Wurrung and Wurundjeri peoples of the Kulin Nation, and I pay my respects to their elders past and present. The Rich Train Employee Project is supporting mature age job seekers to retrain and gain paid work. The project is being delivered by COTA Victoria in partnership with RMIT University, Good Shepherd Australia and New Zealand, and the Future Social Services Institute. Reach Train Employ is supported by the Try, Test and Learn Fund, an initiative of the Australian Government. The project aims to create a pathway to employment in the aged care and disability sectors. There are 36 participants in the project who are currently studying the Certificate 3 in individual support. To their great credit, due to COVID, they are undertaking, undertaking this study completely online. I hope you enjoy hearing their stories as they share their insights about being mature age job seekers. Thank you. In 2005, I, uh, I retired. Uh, yeah, and ever since then, I've been doing a lot of volunteer work. Started a walking group and uh, started a men's group and, you know, just taking life easy. But then um, I thought, well, why not go into a, a new field, look at something that might affect or probably will affect me down the track. I'd like the perfect scenario would be, you know, three days a week. I enjoy working with people and helping people. And it's really, really good. You know, you get, and I get satisfaction out of that too. Generally. So you know, you just you're happy to do any type of work. I mean, I have gone sort of into semi-retirement, but I just don't think I'm happy doing that. I'd prefer to be out there working. You know, so it keeps you occupied, your mind busy, <laughs> so that you're not sitting and and thinking about things instead. And I would stay on for as long as I can, providing my health allows me to. If you work. You involve in community. Eh? If you stay home, you isolate. You know, if you go out, you you always you know it's a teamwork. You 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 work with someone. You know, in there. But I think keep working is good for you. If you're a little bit busy, is good. Yeah, but you working is good because you go out. Nobody. You have to, you know, you to prepare yourself, you know, you, you have to compete, you know, your challenge, you know, yeah. you have to, uh, you can't be too lazy when you go out, you can be lazy at home. When you go to like working for someone, you have to comp competence, you know, find the work. I, I think I will, you know, I will find work easy. I'm going to keep an open mind to see how I go, get through the course and then review things at the time. I don't want to sort of, um, how can I say it, uh, disrupt um, getting through everything. Yeah, I want to make sure I finish it off. So I'm confident there'll be jobs, yeah, whether it be casual, um, a bit of volunteer even, um, but um, whether it's full-time, part-time, whether it's disability, uh, I'm probably leaning a bit that way. But Experience, yes, but more mature, more people that are actually willing to learn. Also, like I said, people that are showing more incentive to learn, are showing more empathy, that are, yeah, that are just willing to give that 100%. You know, going um, to work, being on time, ne never being late, just think, things like that. I can't wait. I can't wait to finish this course, you know. I hope I pass and I hope I do find because my aim, that's why I actually applied for this through through CODA, RMIT and the Good Shepherd, was I am looking for full-time work. My aim is I hope to find a full-time job within a nursing home. That's what I'd like to do.